to another TechMinds video. So you may have seen my last video where I demonstrated the Radio Berry Pi hat, which gave us an HF SDR transceiver based on a Raspberry Pi 4. Now in that video, I spoke of another board which can sit nicely on top of the Radio Berry. This is it, the preamp board designed by Johan Papa Alpha 3 Golf Sierra Bravo. Now to get the preamp board working, you must install the dev version of the Radio Berry software and you must also provide a 12 volt supply directly to the preamp board. Now the preamp board and the Radio Berry both come with SMA connectors, but I decided to remove these and hardwire them between both of the boards as shown here. Now here we have everything connected, the power supply for the Pi 4, the 12 volts for the preamp board, an ethernet connection to my network, and of course a patch cable going to my SWR and power meter, which has a dummy load fitted to the output. So as a test, I am now transmitting a carrier on seven megahertz controlled by SDR console. And on the power meter here, we can see an output of around 3.5 watts. Now this is plenty to then drive a larger amplifier further down the chain. Now what is interesting is that when the preamp board is attached and working, the temperature shown on software, whether it's the Pi HP SDR or the SDR console, it shows the temperature of the finals. And once the temperature hits 50 degrees Celsius, the voltage is then turned off to the PA. And this obviously is a nice safety precaution. However, it doesn't take too long to reach 50 degrees Celsius. So I think some decent cooling is going to be required with this project. Now, I know a few of you have asked a lot of questions about the Radio Berry and the preamp board, but I will address all of those in another video or even maybe a Twitter post. But the common question is, where can I purchase a preamp board? Well, the short answer to that is currently nowhere. The designer of this board has made a few and has now run out of stock with no plans to manufacture any more. However, Johan has provided all the Gerber files or KiCad files and the bill of materials. So we should be able to make our own. Maybe we need to do some form of group buy. I'll look into this further. And if you're interested in this, then please leave a comment below so I can gauge interest. Well, that was it guys. Just a short video on the preamp board. I'm sure you've got a lot more questions, but I'm about to go on holiday. So I'll catch you when I'm back. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.